your spouse is just going to want to know, do you forgive me? Your spouse wants to know that they are forgiven. Your spouse wants to know that everything is good between you two. Welcome back to Prophetic Diary. My name is Tyneek. If you're not already subscribed, click on the subscribe button. For our returning subscribers, first time viewers, everything you need to know about Prophetic Diary is down in the description box. How to sign up for that one-on-one -on -one encouragement call. Join us in the PD Society Circles every Sunday. This past Sunday, we talked about hindering spirits. And we broke off those spirits that were hindering you, hindering your relationships, hindering your growth. We talked about it. Single and ready series, are you ready? Are you prepared? Are you where you need to be? Are you postured correctly for marriage? Let's see. Join us in the single and ready series, July 20th. You don't want to miss out. And I should be giving my July word today. Not 100% sure, but be on the lookout. I was in the scripture today. And it was in Genesis 33 and 10. And this is when... Esau and Jacob reconcile, right? And we talked about this last week. And in 33, 10, it says, for to see your face is like seeing your, the face of God. Not that you have received me favorably, favorably. Please accept the present that was brought to you for God has been gracious to me and I have all I need. Your spouse, like Jacob, is going to want to know, do you forgive me? Please say you forgive me. Seeing your face and you forgiving me is like seeing God's grace. Because I know it takes God's grace for you to receive me. I know it takes God's grace for you to receive me. I know it takes God's grace for us to move forward. It's going to take God's grace. And Jacob is like, seeing your face and you accepting me like this, Esau, it's really letting me know that we're good. And then he says, accept these gifts. And that's why I said a proposal. And that's why I said that, you know, there's going to be gifts that comes when they see your face, when they see that you've forgiven them, when they see that you're ready, when they see, and we did a lot of work in the end of June to make sure that your heart was in a good place, to make sure that you have forgotten about the yesterdays because Esau, if you can forget about these yesterdays, Esau, you can receive all these gifts that I have for what I did to you and all these gifts that I just want to give to you. Because God has so fully, freely blessed me. It may have hurt at one point, Esau. It may have been a major betrayal at one point, Esau. It may have been detrimental to you at one point, Esau. But you forgave him, Esau. You let it go. And now here's the rewards. Here's the gifts. Even though Esau was like, I don't need them. He was so full already. It still was presented to him. Jacob received a reward, blessings from God. Esau could receive blessings from God. You deserve that ring because you put in that work. You deserve the gifts that you're going to receive. Everything, the honor, the love, the respect is here in this month of July for you. I love you, family. If you feel led to into this work, hashtag proposal, proposal. Jacob made a proposal to Esau and that forgiveness is when he said, you know what? This, this is the grace of God, your forgiveness. It's only the grace of God. I love you, family. Talk to you soon. Bye -bye.